Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Gold Rush Autograph Full-Size Baseball Helmets 4-Box Random Player Break Number 7 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Now one, one spot gets you two from this big list down here. So let's double it up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. Like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a four, six times for each list. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, we've got JK down to NS. Nicholas Stone. Two and a four, six times for their names. Ray says we need to get a big helmet. They're all relatively the same size, Adam. Mike Yastrzemski down to Frank Thomas. <laughs> After six. They all got to fit in the same box, Adam. Come on. Come on now. All right, so I'm just going to scroll through the list as is right here. And then I'll alphabetize by uh, by your first names in a second here. I did six. All right. Let's sort by column A by your name. So now they're sorted by your name. Adam, they're your players right there. Brett, there are your players. Hi, Chris Cow, Chris Cabral, Chris Day. There you go. A couple of Chris's I haven't seen in a little while. Hi, guys. Darren, Dino. Jason, Jody, Logie, Matt Medlin, Nicholas Stone, TJ Poyer, Tyler Brenner. There you go. So I'm going to pause the video really quick. I've got the case right here. We're going to pause the video, allow you to kind of keep track of your players. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades in the break. Stick around. Welcome back, everybody. There were no trades, so that list that you see right here remains the same. I'm actually going to sort that by column B for the purpose of the break. Let's pop this case open. We'll play some quick rounds of Who Am I? I'll give you the clues, and for bragging rights, you can. You can try to guess who this player is going to be. Ah, I see. All right, who am I? Retired baseball player, right-handed reliever, 22-year baseball career, uh, pitched for nine different teams. Lifetime 310 saves, 1,500 strikeouts, a 301 lifetime ERA, win-loss of uh, 124, 124 wins, 107 losses. Yeah, played for a lot of teams. Um, Nine-time All-Star, a World Series champion in the late 70s. AL Roll Aids Relief Man Award in the late 70s. Three-time AL 70s, uh, AL Saves Leader. Twice in the 70s, once in the 80s. Inducted into the Hall of Fame on my ninth ballot in 2008. No, not Sparky Lyle. We've seen him a couple times. It's the other guy. Other guy from that era. Yeah, Chris Gill's got it. Richard Michael Goose Gossage. In his Yankees gear right here. Nice. So you got the JSA card right here. J, or JSA card right there, JSA sticker on the back. 
Nice goose gossage. Who has goose? Let's go to my back to my list here. Uh, Jody, Jody Reed with goose gossage. Nice. Goose gossage. He did play for a lot of teams. I spelled that right? I did. Is he part of we gotta we gotta work on this maybe sometime next week, folks. The official Jaspie's Case Breaks all mustache team. I think Goose Gossage is a good candidate. Guys, okay. It's kind of sorry. All right, I am a retired baseball player who played for one, two, three, four major league baseball teams my entire career. Lifetime average of three eleven, three thousand. 89 hits, 117 home runs, 780 runs batted in, 509 stolen bases. Seven-time All-Star, seven-time Gold Glover. Or, I'm sorry, ten-time All-Star, ten-time Gold Glover. AL MVP, AL Rookie of the Year, same year. Pretty incredible. Three-time Silver Slugger, two-time AL Batting Champion, and an AL Stolen Base Leader. And I have an MLB record, 262 hits in a single season. That is crazy. I've One of my favorite stories about this guy, my, the most, uh, one of my favorite stories about this guy is when he first came up in 2001. So who won 2001 Rookie of the Year? That's right, Ichiro. And it's Mariner's helmet too. It's, this is very nice. One of my favorite stories from that rookie year, I think when he first came over from Japan, I think it was Lou Pinella. Was Lou Pinella the coach of the Mariners in the early 2000s? And he saw him for the first time at batting practice. And there's no like YouTube videos that you can pull up of this guy, so they didn't really get too much on him. So, and by the way, that's Tyler Brenner, I think. There you go, Tyler. Congrats, man. He's been pushing. He's been wanting for this break to happen for a long time. Ever remember the story? Lou Pinella, I think it was, saw him, and then, and then he was all he was doing was hitting like, you know, doubles, slap liners, just slapping the ball around the field. And he goes, "Is I mean, he's like, all right, so this guy's supposed to be a big deal. Is this all he does? Can he do anything else?" You know, and then he and he goes up to Ichiro and it's like, hey, you know, what else? What else can you can you do? Um, <laughs> and he goes, I mean, I can hit home runs too. And so, just on a dime, he just he just starts hitting dingers, just bombs in batting practice. And Pinella goes, okay, I guess he knows what he's doing. Left him alone after that. Didn't have to worry about him. For those of you who live in Seattle. And you can find this on on YouTube as well. Apparently, he has done a lot of really he's done a lot of really hilarious like local TV commercials. So I think you can go on YouTube and and look those up. Him doing like local TV and it's kind of fun, it's kind of hilarious because he's kind of a notoriously quiet guy. He doesn't do a lot of interviews or anything like that. But so to see him do those commercials are really funny. Apparently. Kind of like how Kawhi has those great, uh, he's got great grocery store commercials, I think, in the San Antonio area. 
I haven't seen any, any local commercials for him around here, but apparently San Antonio has some really funny, funny commercials. Yeah, that's right, Joe. You, you can't, I mean, not only is he, a, is he a, an excellent hitter, you can't forget how amazing that guy's arm was. All right, who am I? Got a couple more of these. It's another retired baseball player, former center fielder. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams my entire career. Uh, Four-time All-Star, a World Series champion, eight-time Gold Glover, um, a Silver Slugger, part of this team's Hall of Fame. Although I personally don't associate him with that team, I associated the team that he came up with. So the first two teams he played for, I think that those are where he spent a bulk of his career. That's where I usually remember him. But most recently, in 2010, played for the Brewers and Reds. In, 20, in 2008, played for the Padres and Cubs. I guess there was a missing, maybe an injury year in 2009. So some brief stints with those teams there. But I know him mostly from... Uh, well, he's got a 284 lifetime batting average, 393 home runs, 1,199 runs batted in. And I think he's currently a broadcaster for Fox Sports Midwest. Great defensive player. I mean, hit, hit pretty well as well. Most of you may know him as a cardinal. I know him as an angel. Logan Collister gets this one. Matt Medling gets it. It's Jim Edmonds. In a Saint, see, it's in a St. Louis helmet. I think of him as an angel. I don't think you see, you don't see too many Jim Edmonds autographs, right? Nice. So that Ichiro is on a much nicer helmet. These are on a more of like a kind of a child's toy helmet kind of thing. The Ichiro was nice. Doesn't matter. His autograph's on there. JSA card. In the back right there, JSA sticker on the back too, yes. Oh, come on, you gotta go to Logan. All right, so there you go, Logan, nice. I don't know if he's still awake, but there you go, man. And the last one coming up. Last box of the last break of the Thursday night. Yo, what do we got here? This is a pretty great case. Wow, Adam saying on eBay, or the asking price on eBay for that Ichiro, 500 bucks. I mean, that's not too bad. His autos go pretty well anyway. All right. Right-handed batter, throwing right. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams my entire career. Nine-time All-Star, World Series champ, five-time Silver Slugger, NL batting champion in the early 90s. Lifetime 292, 2,689 hits, 1,676 runs batted in, 509 home runs. Not in the Hall of Fame, though. I was mentioned in the Mitchell Report, implicated in the 2004 Balco scandal. PD stuff. Um, worked as a sports agent, baseball agent, after... Uh, after my retirement, and I'm the nephew of Dwight Gooden. Nephew of Dwight Gooden. And I'm sure everybody, a whole generation of kids, emulated his, uh, his batting stance and his bat waggle. Yep, Chris Gill's got it. Gary Sheffield. And they give you Gary Sheffield an old Dodger blue. I remember Gary Sheffield as a Dodger.
Nice. There's the JSA card inside the bag. There's the sticker on the back right there. Nice. So there you have it. Who's got the Gary Sheffield? That'll go to Adam Wilson with the Gary Sheffield. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern for Big Hit Express Series 4. Appreciate it. See you. Bye-bye.